Today's case involves enhancement fees to attorney contracts. Here, the client retains a law firm and buried in the contract is this clause that indicates the final bill is going to be based on hourly rate plus other factors such as performance. After the law firm finalizes the client's divorce, they demand an additional $9 million on top of the already $3 or so million they had been paid. The client says no, the law firm sues, the client moves to dismiss the lawsuit, stating those extra constitute a contingency fee, and as everybody knows, that's not allowed in divorce cases. The judge agrees and dismisses, but the appellate court, well, they reverse and remand. The appellate court stresses here that the issue isn't whether the $9 million was appropriate, only whether their proviso is, on its face, a contingency fee. And they feel it isn't. It merely incorporates the factors a judge has to look at when determining whether a fee is reasonable. So they reverse this, but the client might still win this one on remand because part of the appellate court's mandate is for the trial court to determine whether the reasonableness factors were actually already subsumed into the film's very big hourly rate. If they are, the client probably wins this one when it goes back before the trial court. The takeaway, you have to read your contract carefully before you sign it. Now, I don't see small firms and solo practitioners doing this enhancement of fees like you see in this case. I, I, I think it just would poison the referral well. That's kind of our lifeblood. Uh, but larger firms or maybe ones that don't care who they anger, caveat emptor. Anyways, that's all I have. Thanks for watching.